Hey now, welcome back to Modsville USA. Another episode of the PS Vita custom firmware series. And we're going to install PKGJ, which is a free shop for the PS Vita. Now, if you've dabbled with HBG Shop for the Nintendo Switch, PKGI for the PS3, or the old school free shop for the 3DS, you'll know what's up. It's the same thing. And we've already got the homebrew browser set up. We did it in the last video. Oh, look at that. My FPS counter is working. That is neat. Very neat. All right, it's loaded up nice and clean, nice and pretty. Now, once we're in the um, homebrew browser, you'll find it in utilities. So you can just do a search for it. But a release came out fairly recently, so I'm just going to go sort from new. PKGJ, that is what we want. We're just going to download it. Now this, the only thing this requires at this point, I've been dabbling with Vitas for quite some time and the setup for this used to be quite a bit more convoluted. Now with uh, the thanks to uh, the auto plugins, auto plugins is a really really nice app because installing plugins before was kind of a pain in the ass now it's it's a breeze and you used to need to make a config file and from what I just read that's no longer the case so we're just going to load up pkgj do you want to download it? yeah so I'm loaded up it's got a new version. Okay. It's all through Vita Shell. So it's in UX0, PKGJ. Got it. Okay. All right. So it downloaded an update for us. So let's get that installed. We're going to go into Vita Shell. We'll go back. And it installs to UX0, PKGJ. There she is right there, PKGJ version 0 0.55. So we're going to install that. Yes. Yeah, we're getting to a good spot where we don't even need to go on our computer. We can just get everything we want from the Vita <clears throat> as long as we have a internet connection, which is very nice. Let's go back to PKGJ. Pop her open. All right, let's go menu. We're gonna go refresh. Oh, you look at that. There's a fucking ton of games. Uh, every game, as a matter of fact. So I'm going to nuke Asia, Europe, and Japan. And only view the U.S. stuff. So this is all alphabetical order. Let's see, let me sort by name, date, so grab the newest stuff. Let's see what's new. And you're probably going to want to turn on at least like Japan as well. So I know there's quite a bit of exclusives. So it's going to tell you in parentheses, uh, any game for uh, firmware above 3.60. It's going to have the firmware required in parentheses. But if you remember in the last video, we installed a plugin called Refood. So 
the sake of showing you how this works, we're going to grab a game. We're on 3.60, as I hope you know. And we're going to grab a game that requires a higher firmware. Okay, well, I don't know what the hell Duck Souls Plus is, but I do like Dark Souls. And I'm also quite keen on ducks. So, uh, yeah, my interest is peaked. We're going to give this a shot. Firmware version 3.60. Firmware required 3.69. This game will work thanks to refood. Game not installed. Install the game. Cool. I'm going to let this install. Okay. Well, it looks like we can just close that out. And there it is. It's... Yeah, last time I had to use PKJ, this wasn't a thing. Now it just queues up in your live area. I like that. All right, so we're going to wait for this to finish. And then we're going to uh, see what Duck Souls is all about. All right, guys, so Duck Souls has installed. Will it work is the question. Beautiful, dude. Very sweet. Now imagine this game is going to be ass. We shall find out. Hi. Oh, they're actually... Oh, they are the Duck Souls. Gotcha. I need your help. Okay. Well, that's it. Uh, we got PKG installed. And it's that fucking simple. Download a game. Now, if you're having issues, uh, you're missing one of the two plugins. You're missing either Refood or the no DRM plugin. So if you got those issues, go back to the auto plugin. Get those installed. Reboot your Vita. Bada bing, bada boom. Free games, easy. Um, yeah. So I don't know what the next video is going to be yet. Probably going to take a look at that N64 emulator. And uh, I'll see you guys when that comes out thank you for watching make sure to leave a like i'll see you on the next one